Um, obviously camp now getting the pads on and a lot of people look right to the lines to say like that's really where you can start telling with the pads how's it been through the first couple of days of full pads it's been good you know uh it's kind of extended acclimation period this year so it was a lot more shells it was good to finally be able to get the pads on um, um really start seeing how our fits are going in and how, how, we're, how we're, everything's coming together jadavian's i mean just first impressions of him because we see him in the backfield a lot you know just throughout camp so far what how what is it looking out there I mean, he's, he's a good player. I'm happy he's on our side now. And uh, between him and Miles, it's great work for me and Jed every day. I mean, it's going to, by the time camp ends, uh, we'll see him just about every possible rush. And uh, it's just going to make us both better players, and it's going to make our team a lot better. Jack, you've probably been uh, over each of them, right, at mm -hmm. certain reps. How are they different? Um, just a different kind of player, I would say. Um, I mean, Miles can do everything. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. He's, he's so quick and then but, but um, JD brings a whole nother um, level of, of physicality I would say he's maybe a little bit more more violent um, where Miles is a little more finesse in certain situations but they both can do all can can do just about anything so it's really hard to um, categorize them differently because they, they both are very similar in certain ways but um, I would say maybe just JD's a little more violent but uh, a little more bull rush you mean right yeah, that, yeah 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 and can Clowney bend like Miles? Um, sure. I don't know. I don't know if there's anybody that can bend quite as well as Miles, but uh, he, he does. He can bend. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, you don't have to play that. You know, mm -hmm. your D line. But what kind of problem does that give an offensive line to have those two guys on the on the ends? Um, I mean, it's it's, it's hard. I mean, because again, cause you saw last year and. and Years past, a lot of teams just double team Miles. You know, what I mean, and when you get a guy like uh, uh, JD on the other side, you can't. You, you, what do you got to pick and choose? Are you gonna double team this guy this time, or are you gonna let them both go? You know, one on one, and uh, it's just gonna help our defense so much being able to have those two there, free guys up on a play, and um, I think we're, you're gonna see a lot more uh, pressure on the quarterback. And, and uh, the way they've been working, they've been working hard, and. Uh, um, I mean, just every day, I mean, you can see me or Jed and, and JD or, or Miles Steve, just talking, just talking about what we're working on, what we're seeing with each other and, and helping each other out, which is which is such a great thing to have, that camaraderie between between the four of us. I know you guys don't want to look to the outside, but everybody pretty much says this is the best offensive line in football. You guys have multiple all pros. You have, you know, just all the stats bear out that you guys are the best. Do you, you see that in this line of being the best in the NFL? I mean, we can be. Um, I mean, last year is last year. This is a new year. We have to, we have to reestablish ourselves. I mean, you can't. We don't look at, at ourselves as being the best because there's every day. I mean, we look at the film. There's stuff to fix, and there, we've got a long ways we, to go um, to be the best. And it's it's our goal, and uh, we we definitely think and we are capable of, of being that. But uh, you know, we got it's a lot of camp left, and there's a lot of stuff to get fixed up and and, and make better. And and uh, you know, we just got to keep every day coming in with that mindset of uh, fixing something and getting better. One of the guys that people really are a big fan of, Wyatt Teller, obviously you spent a lot of time with him. What made him so good last year? and What what are the things that he can continue that to, to be the all-pro guard he was? Um, I think he, I think last year was just a huge growing year for him. I think he, he took a lot of what uh, Coach Callahan um, had to teach and, and took it to heart. And uh, you could see in his game, you could see the, the giant shift in his game. And, and uh, you know, Wyatt's a big guy who he plays very aggressively. He can get guys rolling and puts guys on the ground. And uh, I think for him, it's just it's just learning. I mean, it's every year. I mean, you learn no matter how last year was. You watch the film the next year, and you're like, oh, that looks pretty bad at the things. And and you just try to keep uh, progressing, keep keep learning, keep getting better. Because the other side of the ball, they're watching what you did last year, and they're starting to pick up on stuff. So you just got to keep progressing your game. Every day we have we hear Coach Callahan out there being very vocal with you guys, <laughs> and you know we've heard that he's a he's a tough coach, but he knows exactly what he wants you guys to do. What's it like being able to work under him and learn from him and Taking direction from him. What's that like on a day-to-day -day at, at training camp? It's you know it's great. You know he gets after us, which is uh, you know at times frustrating, but it's good. You know that's what you want. Uh, he, he expects perfection, and uh, good isn't good enough. So um, it definitely drives us and makes us better because you know it's not just get the job done. It's hey you blocked him here, but you could have done this and this and this, and it would have you would have made your job easier. It would have looked better. And uh, just having that every day, that accountability to him, and, and knowing that you know if you don't do it right, you're, he's going to get on you is uh, it's great. For you, uh, sorry. For you specifically, I was just wondering if there's an area in which he was able to like focus on something that he wanted to teach you or coach you at, and that you feel like you've improved. Um, I think definitely um, a big thing for me, especially last year and even this year, just keep getting better is, is with uh, 
uh, my steps and my sets just being uh, more compact, keeping them uh, about more balanced up, and it's something I think I got better and better on last year as the year went through and through, and it's something I'm honing in on more and more this year just to keep uh, progressing. Jack, what kind of benefits can the, the continuity that you guys have, uh, just with the five starters on offense all coming back, what kind of benefits does that bring to you guys as a group when you guys come um, It's huge. You know, I think uh, even, I mean, even with, we got the whole offense back, you know, having the whole offense and then, Going in, I think a lot of times you see the biggest jump uh, between year one and year two with teams. Um, you know, coming back, we're not learning a whole new offense this year. We know all the plays. Now it's just kind of able to um, figure out how to communicate better, how we can get, be on the, the same page more often and in and, uh, and communication. And I know one of the things that Joel said he really missed last year was just being able to go out with all you guys. You know, like that was something that the offensive line kind of does all the time uh, pre-COVID was just going out and making sure we, you, know, you guys meet each other's wives and girlfriends. Like that. Is that something you guys will be able to do this year and as a new player from last year, you know, is that different? Just, you know, all that stuff yeah, no, I mean, it'll be a lot more now. You know, obviously, hopefully the COVID stuff um, doesn't put a wrench in that. But uh, um, even the biggest, even just the little things of having tables in our cafeteria, we can sit down and after a hard practice before we can talk, talk about stuff or, or just get to know each other more. I think that's huge. I mean, I remember my first day last year, walked in and it was the first day camp, and everybody's wearing masks. And it's funny, even coming in this year, it's like, I think I know you. You don't have a mask on. It's, it's just figuring all that stuff out. So it's definitely, it's great to have that. And again, I think that's going to be a um, create even more um, community among the team. Just being able to, you know, go out and hang out, you know, and uh, get to know each other on a personal. Anytime you know somebody on a personal level, um, and then you're working beside them, it just creates more accountability. And uh, how great are you at the shuffle more table? <laughs> I'm getting better. Getting better. I mean. Uh, it's definitely very warped, and JC and, and Joel definitely have a leg up on that one. But I'm I'm, I'm figuring it out. <laughs> What's the uh, next step for this offense? Um, I think just just I think it's just more and more of marrying that run in the past. I mean that's one of our um, foundational blocks is um, having the, being able to run the ball and then making the play action look the same. And the more fluid we can have that, just the better this offense can be. And uh, really, the sky's the limit for this for this offense. We can. You know, if we get this stuff all figured out and the fire on the on the same page, then um, we're gonna be able to do some damage. What's what's one lesson you took away from last year? And offensive as a person, just as a team. Um, I think just that we can be in any game. That there's not a, there's not a, a team out there that we can't hang with and, and beat. And um, I think just the biggest thing always is just um, taking care of the ball. I think that's a big thing. One cut down on is uh, penalties for the snap, pre snap penalties. And um, turnovers. I, mean, I think you saw a big difference between the, the fir beginning, first day of the game, second day of the game, eight games. Uh, that's the difference to how we took care of the ball, and, and that goes all the way down to the line. You know, just protecting better and, and uh, locking up the, the, the front seven. Hey, Jack. Uh, Jadavion said something interesting the other day. He mentioned how this is his first camp he feels fully healthy in. Um, considering your AFC South history with him, are you noticing a fresher Jadavion than the one you used to game plan for? Um. When I was playing him ten, I mean, in, in Tennessee, when I was in Tennessee, uh, he was still pretty. He was, I think, he was still pretty relatively healthy at the time. I mean, he's, he's. I knew he was a great player then. He's a great player now. He definitely hasn't, definitely hasn't lost a step from what he is. And uh, I think he's, uh, he, he seems healthy. He seems spry, and he seems excited to, to learn and, and to, to work. Have you learned anything new about him competing against him every day compared to just like the two time a year matchup? Um, yeah, yeah. I think um, as a pass rusher, anything technical, anything you want to share. I would say the biggest thing um, is just his willingness to learn and to adapt. I mean, he, he's not a guy who comes in and has an, an, an agenda of his own. I mean, he's a guy that does, wants to do what the team um, expects of him and, and, and do that. And I think that's it's really impressive to see as such a guy, a big name guy that has had bounced around um, of late to be able to have him come in and, and buy into what we're doing. I think it's, it's huge. And what's it says like? Right. What's it been like getting to know him just as a, a person as you guys continue to battle day in and day out here at camp? It's been great. It's been great. Um, we're, we talk about stuff all the time, just about uh, what we're seeing from each other, what different things we could, we could fix with our game, and be able to have a, a guy I'm playing against uh, so so often that uh, is able to talk about that stuff is huge, and it's going to help us both. Is he any more of a handful now than when you faced him before? With, I don't know, experience or um, comparable? To yeah, I mean, it's always harder in practice, uh, just because you start figuring out tendencies, you start figuring out what plays are, you know, each, each other running and stuff. So, um, it's better. I mean, it, it's great because it is harder. It, it's harder, and it's 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 a great for learning because um, 
by the time we get to Sundays, having to go on against Miles and, and JD and, and a lot of our de most of our defense, it's going to be we'll've seen everything, we'll know how to handle it, and we'll have confidence in going against any other defense. Hey, we haven't talked to you since you got named All Pro. Um, did you show yourself something last year by coming into a new team and, and you know getting that honor and playing the way you did and back? Yeah, successful and. Yes, no, definitely. I got a lot, lot better last year, but I, I knew I had it in me. You know, I, I did it my rookie year and uh, had some injuries and stuff. And I, it was great to be able to bounce back and you know feel healthy and feel good and really show people you know what I'm capable of, who I, who, who I can be as a player.